What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video, and in today's video we have some brand new information about all these recent leaks and rumors about Black Ops 4. So a lot of these rumors and leaks and everything that we've been getting have come from a certain guy on Twitter, his name is Matt Harris, and he claims to have had inside sources in Treyarch and into Call of Duty and Activision and everybody, and that he has gotten all this leaked information about the game and... There's been a lot of information supposedly coming out from him about what Black Ops 4 is going to be like. He leaked information about the campaign and multiplayer and zombies. So he leaked information about the campaign, how there is going to be no campaign for Black Ops 4. And about kind of what the campaign was going to entail. And then he leaked information about multiplayer and how multiplayer was not like the traditional Call of Duty multiplayer and how it's going to be similar to Overwatch and Lawbreakers and stuff like that and then it would also have advanced movement stuff and then with Zombies he basically said that there's going to be two maps a London map and a Mob of the Dead map but the Mob of the Dead map would have the Victus crew with it and just a whole bunch of other stuff as well so one thing I would do want to say right off the bat is that a lot of this stuff was like pretty easy to like just guess like his leaks were just things you could anybody could really just come up with so like the whole thing about zombies having a mob of the dead map is pretty obvious like we've basically been confirmed at this point that mob of the dead is going to be a black ops 4 map like we've had so many different little things from Treyarch, and it's basically just like everybody expects it to be a map so i guess this guy is just like feeding off our expectations and just like you know, he's like, oh yeah, no, we will have a mob of the dead map. And then London, once again, that's like, zombies community has talked about that as well. So, there's really nothing in his zombies leaks that suggests that he has any actual inside information. It's just kind of stuff anybody could kind of piece together and come up with on their own. Like, none of it is like, brand new revealing information. Um, his information about multiplayer, about it, you know, potentially having advanced movement and stuff and being like overwatch i mean part of that is you know supposedly correct because it comes from other sources so this guy may be correct on some of that stuff but he did put out a confession on reddit um a, like a day ago or so and uh he also put it on his twitter and stuff too so he said, quote, in my mind, I haven't lied. I just made the information more digestible and logical to understand. So he claims he hasn't lied, but in reality, he actually did. Like he even posted like kind of a confession thing um, on Google Docs. And so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. But he like goes through everything and why, you know, he did what he did and like about like all the little things. So he says that like basically... A lot of the information that he got, yeah, was correct, but he pieced together a lot of other stuff and made up some stuff with it. So he said, No, the compendiums are not word for word what I was told by my sources. Yes, I may have expanded on certain ideas. The Black Ops 3 campaign information was taken directly from Play the Game's Skype chat over a year ago and likely contained many red herrings and falsities. The Black Ops 4 campaign information was elaborated on slightly. All I knew was that it took place across multiple time zones and started in the future. I have also recently received information that this idea may have been scrapped as long as two years ago. What I knew for zombies, the story information was elaborated on from what I have learned over the years from sources and from my own knowledge of the storyline. Oh, the Blundell information. The people who gave me that nugget of information were supremely pissed off at the guy. I made up parts of the zombies and campaign sections regarding their stories to help connect the dots. So, like, basically what he's saying here is that, yeah, some of this information is, you know, well, could be true. It doesn't mean it's, you know, official or anything like that. But what he is saying here is that there is a, a bunch of things in his leaks and stuff that aren't true and that he has just come up with on his own, that he has just said and wanted to connect the dots and in his mind he just wanted to connect them to make it more logical and easier to understand so like the whole thing with Blundell and how he's going to be leaving after Black Ops 4 and stuff apparently that just came from somebody who was like really pissed off at Blundell so that doesn't mean it's real the zombies and campaign information and stuff doesn't mean those are real because he's saying he just basically came up with a bunch of bull just to kind of connect the dots and then also the stuff about the campaign being scrapped as long as two years ago as well so over two years ago when the campaign was scrapped 
I mean, that would make me feel a little bit better that the campaign wasn't just scratched like a couple months ago. So, I feel like that's a better, you know, explanation a little bit that if it was scratched, it would be years ago because obviously Activision would not be just like letting Treyarch be building this campaign and spend two years on the campaign already and be making this game and then go, huh, actually, you know what? That's too outlandish. We're just going to scratch it. No, they're going to do that early on in development. Treyarch went to Activision, pitched this campaign, pitched the game, what they was going to you know what they wanted to do with it and Activision was like no yeah that's too outlandish I don't think people are gonna like that so obviously Treyarch would not have been building and making this campaign for over two years and then Activision suddenly just goes nah I don't think we like it let's go ahead and cancel the whole thing so that makes sense over two years ago so this still leaves hope that there's gonna be a campaign for Black Ops 4 but at the same time we've gotten other sources there's a bunch of other leaks in places you know Kotaku Charlie Intel other places that have reported that Black Ops 4 won't have a single player campaign. They got their information from a separate source than this guy on Twitter. So we're still going to have to wait till May 17th to find out about that. But yeah, so this is just kind of interesting. And like it kind of sucks though. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like really relieved to hear about this stuff. But then again, like we have had other sources for a lot of what this guy is saying. A lot of the details is basically what this guy made up. So the little things that we haven't heard from other places is what has been made up and what is BS. But the other big ideas that say Raven is making a battle royale mode, that's been confirmed by other sources. That's pretty legit. The fact that it won't have a campaign has been confirmed by other sources. That's probably pretty legit. The fact that multiplayer was similar to Overwatch at one point and it's been changed. You know, that's been confirmed by different sources and stuff too, so that could also be there. But the information, like I said, that, like his little details he puts out on all the on his Google documents and stuff all seem to be fake and that he just made them up and stuff and this guy's just under damage control right now and yeah, like, I don't doubt that like, yeah, he might have a uh, an inside source into all this stuff, but I don't think he, like, I mean, it's kind of been obvious and he even admitted it that all of, like the information he shared wasn't the actual information and that like all of his his documents that he's typed up are not word for word so he was just making stuff up on his own to try and make it seem cooler or more i guess appealing to to viewers and people so if like somebody read it they would be like oh man and you know it would stick out more so say like oh black ops 4 is advanced movement and is similar to overwatch instead of just Black Ops 4 is like Overwatch, you know? He's just putting in extra fluff in there to make it more appealing and make it more interesting to everybody. So, I don't know. There you guys go. I thought I'd let you guys know about this because this is big. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's a good thing, too, that this guy's wrong. But at the same time, we're just going to have to find out how wrong he was about all this stuff on May 17th when the final game gets revealed and we get a trailer and stuff for it. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Tell me what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I'm going to be posting tons of videos when the game actually does get revealed and we have official information from Activision and Treyarch and gameplay and stuff of the game. But until then, we're just probably going to be getting more of these leaks and stuff, having to try and find out if they're real or fake or what. But, yeah, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.